I haven't seen the wasps. I've been looking today. I haven't seen them come out of that little place. They may have moved, but I'm not taking my chances. I did not make the... Uh, you just jump straight into it. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I did not make the apple juice boric acid mix like I said I was going to at lunch today. Because I got really busy and re really productive in the house. And I just kind of snacked through throughout the day. But we just got back from the store. Yep. And we got some apple juice. apple juice, frozen apple juice concentrate. So I'll make a batch of that and put the boric acid in and put it in containers and let them eat it on up. Kinsley did not follow us. No. Come on, Kinsley! Bless you, buddy. Let's go. Hang on. All right, I went to go try to find Kinsley, but she's still in the truck. She won't come out. Oh, she went back in the truck? She went back in the truck. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we're just going to head the opposite direction. We're going to go check on our potatoes, nope. tomatoes, <laughs> and our peaches. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to call it a day because it is starting to rain. And I still have chores to do and editing to do. These are laying eggs now. Nice. You go, girls. <laughs> pass the tomatoes. Oh, we did pass the potatoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those two. <laughs> oh, there's some ripe ones. Looks like oh, yeah. some are starting to turn green. Or the leaves yellow. are starting to turn yellow. That's what I meant to say. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. Let's see here. Is this one? That one's kind of... The one right there looks better. That one looks good. This one looks... Okay, there we go. There's two. I'm gonna more. let those continue. Those two right there, yeah. Um, let's see here. Ooh, that one had the stink bug in it. Hmm. Gross. There you go, chickens. <laughs> and, oops, that one just fell off with the stink bug in it. So we're getting some, or I don't know if it's a stink bug, it's some sort of bug. Yeah. Some, yeah, some bugs biting on it. Yep. All right. That's exciting. We got two. <laughs> <laughs> Up to four. <laughs> Edible ones. All right. You got the right attire on? You good? Nah, I'm fine. I'm not, right. I'll stay on. As long as I stay on this path. It's like the nicest day of the week. It's been very nice today. Yeah. Kind of, kind of cloudy. A little bit of cool weather rolled in from yesterday's heat. We're gonna get a storm, so it's gonna cool down even more. Yep. Hi, buddy. You coming for the walk? Hi, sweetie. He's like, of course I am. Yep, he likes the walks. I love walks, and then I'll run through the woods, and I'll go chase something, sniff something, mark something, and come back up. It's usually what he does. So I'm really enjoying, so far, this change and uh, Katie doing the morning chores and me doing the evening chores because today <laughs> I was super productive in the house. Got up early, like I said, I was going to and was able just to work in the house most of the day because it stayed pretty cool. So I'm going to try that again tomorrow and just keep at it because I want to get this house done. Let's see, where it is? Uh, oh, it's right over here. I have to go through all this tall grass. Um, the peaches are still there, but they're not ripening. They're not progressing. Mm -mm. Whoo, there's oh, a hole. Here. Actually, no, I'm going to show them. Sorry. Just joking. Don't really take it. Hey, buddy. What's he doing? So, there's one. There's a couple here. But they're not really. Like getting very big. There's a lot more of them on there, though. There is a lot more. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot more of them on. So. What what month again? Or. Uh, I don't remember now. In the zone. I think. I thought it was September. Maybe. I could. Well, I guess it depends on the variety of peach too. Yeah. Oh, looks like we got a water bucket tipped over. Oh shoot. Okay. Good thing I'm doing chores soon. <laughs> Not 
trees have fallen. <laughs> and I did, I got up way too early this morning. <laughs> Katie's not enjoying this change in, <laughs> I, <laughs> in schedule. Something woke me up at like 5.30 a.m. And oops, and I <clears throat> I have a hard time getting back to sleep once I'm, I'm a very light sleeper. So uh, this one just has the two, three. three. Yeah, this one's really pretty much stayed the same. It's not really doing much. Uh -uh. So they're still, they're fuzzy, uh -huh. very hard. I guess we just keep at it. Yeah. And just see what it does. Yeah, it will need, it will need to give it sunlight if we ever want those to produce anything. Yeah. <laughs> In their current state, that's about what we're going to get. Yep. So, yeah, I did. I woke up early. I got out of bed about 6.30, finally, because I was just tired of just laying there trying to sleep. And Nate had gotten up, so I, uh, I knew he was going to probably take the doggies for a walk. So I went ahead and waited till he... He got back so I could use the trike and then um, I went around, I went around, did all the chores, showered, and that's an interesting sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, was completely ready to start my work day <laughs> by the time my 8 30 alarm went off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and then you got done late today too. So yeah. you, had a, you had an uh, extra long day at work. I did. I was I was trying to get out earlier, but because it's my Friday, and uh, we treat our Fridays like no more meetings after a certain time, and just get your stuff done. But I've got so many events in works that I had to answer some questions, make sure everyone had what they needed because I wasn't going to be working tomorrow. But it was a good day. Uh oh, we have a. Uh... Yeah, the dark brown on one. Side. She, uh, I think she prefers that side. Our dark Brahma is starting to be a jerk to our, our hens. Oh, the male? Yeah. He's, uh, the rooster is getting more assertive with them. Mm -hmm. And the ones I want to add with them mm -hmm. are not big enough yet. So I haven't haven't uh, added them over. He's not mean to us, but he's just gotten a little bit more rough with them. Ooh. The roosters used to care if other hens came in there, but these guys have lived with each other for so long. <laughs> they're all, they're all chill crossing over. There you go, young lady. Go ahead. I wouldn't be surprised if an Americana tried to go with you. Those girls always try to get over to the next leg. That was master level skill right there of getting a hen to cross over. Cross over? To the correct, you know what I mean. <laughs> master level skill. Little Buckeyes, little rooster. He's getting along just fine with the Buckeyes and the other rooster. So what are you gonna do tomorrow? since it's your day off. Um, you gonna build some perches? I need to, mm -hmm. because I need to move, I need to finish that last chicken move. Mm -hmm. And then um, I wanna get back to this. Right. But I also wanna build the other shed, so I have a lot, a lot to do this weekend. Why don't, why don't you work on the perches? Yeah, get those no, done. that's the first priority, yes. yes. So that way we can do the chickens, get that moved. Yep. I guess I was, I was the whole weekend. I just assumed like oh. my tomorrow is like my whole weekend. I see. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I I'm like to kind of think through what I want to do mm -hmm. because if I go into the weekend with no game plan, I don't get a lot accomplished. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that I also realized is last night I was thinking about what I wanted to do in the house. And so I knew right away, all right, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. And I was just in, in, in what order to do it. Mm -hmm. And I just got on and did it. But if I go in there without a game plan, yeah. it's kind of like doop to do, doop to do. Well, there's just so many things that sidetrack you, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like it's there's so, just there's yeah. so much to do. So much to do. And then depending on which project you start is how many rabbit holes you go down. Yeah, because exactly. 
who knows what's wrong yeah we just start <laughs> digging into yeah. you know more uh more uh demo we thought we were done with demo but we're pretty close to being done with demo we we added one more oh yeah the hallway the hallway getting getting rid of the last remaining original drywall yep from the person that lived here before us so we were going to keep it but it's like what's just, the point it's just it's it. literally just two sheets yeah so it's not i mean peace of mind is more important make sure it's clean yeah I, yeah i know it's clean because i was on the other side of it in oh. the bathroom but oh they're Ooh. gonna play they're gonna play <laughs> If y'all have been watching us for a while, you can see Kinsley's almost playing like a real dog now. She'll still probably do her rollover and lay down, but she's learning how to play with the bigger boys. There, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good with her. Mm -hmm. He doesn't ever play too hard. Like how he plays with Levi, whew, if he did that to Kinsley, I'd be like, oh, my hips. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. You finally got we out. To, we need to shave him out. Yeah. I tried the other day and he just ran away. Yeah, he don't like it. No, he, he was just on his back, uh, his back hocks or legs or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's gotten in the burrs so bad and I, I try to keep him as cleaned out as I can by constantly picking him out, but now it's starting to make him mat. And yeah, yeah it's just... That with yeah. all of his shedding that's happening right now, it just, it comes, like these are just burrs. Yep and it's constant like i will literally clean them off at night when it cools off and just pull all these out of them and i have piles and piles that i throw away every single time and you just go and get more like as soon as i'm done you're like okay come back mama yep see he's the same way he was completely cleaned off last night mm. hi mm. bud all right storm's rolling in i have chores to do so we're gonna say goodbye and we will see them tomorrow fantastic goodbye have a great night see you tomorrow